Hi everybody, this is Hal for Daigle Auto Harps, and uh, we've been getting, we get a lot of the same questions here, and we try to answer those with some videos um, so that we can put up and refer people to so that we can get their questions answered, or you can get your questions answered uh, online, you know, if you're surfing around looking for answers. Uh, in this case, the question is, what is the difference between a Daigle Desert Rose and the Daigle Tahoma? In sound and uh, in, um, you know, in features. Um, the Desert Rose used to be our entry level instrument until about three years ago um, when the Tahoma came out. And they're a little bit different and they have very different sounds. And so I thought I would share that with you. Both of them are basically plywood instruments. Um, our uh, higher end models are solid wood, solid top, solid back. Um, but the Desert Rose and the Tahoma um, are basically made of uh, marine ply and it has excellent tonal characteristics, uh, very resistant to humidity and temperature difference. Um, and like the Oscar Schmidt auto harp um, uh, and the chroma harps, they are plywood, um, but plywood can sound really good, as I'm about to demonstrate. Um, but that helps bring the price down, hence they are our, our entry level instruments. Um, so let me, let me talk about these um, individually. Uh, and then I'll play them for you. The Desert Rose, which used to be our entry-level instrument, is, uh, if you look at it, it has um, plies all around. This is piano pin block. All really good auto harps are pin block underneath. Um, even these harps underneath this um, wooden like this is this is a walnut and underneath that there is piano pin block you just can't see it because it's got those really nice sides that are glued over the piano pin block in this case the piano pin block is um, slightly constructed what we do is we cut it out of the big block and it's basically horseshoe shaped in other words, it doesn't have a piece that goes this way, but the piano pin block frame goes like this inside all the way around. And then there's a glued on cross piece down here. And there is a carbon fiber rod that keeps that from twisting. And then there are metal components. Uh, there's an aluminum strap or bar along this side that helps rigidify it so that it doesn't flex and that helps keep it in tune, stiffens it. And um, that is almost visible right there because it's right along here uh, at right about that spot. Anyway, constructed frame um, and then the plywood is glued onto the top with bracing inside and glued onto the back with bracing inside. And um, it has our Daigle fine tuners and our Daigle bars with the um, uh, Mylar spring system um, that is very quiet, very small motions, and makes it quite a pleasure to play. Um, and uh, it has this, and this is the biggest thing that makes a difference in the tone. This bridge is what we call an A model bridge and it is sitting halfway out on the hollow of the instrument inside. And so that transfers the vibrating stringing energy through the bridge directly to the top. And there's another bridge 
down here at the bottom right in front of the fine tuner and that does the same thing so um, like a banjo which moves a drum head through its bridge this is moving the top which is moving the air cavity inside and because it's so thick there's a lot of empty space inside that gets moved and that motion of the top going in and out and in and out pumps out sound out of the sound hole a lot of bass comes out these are very loud auto harps I mean you can play them quiet but if you need an entry-level auto harp that will allow you to be heard amongst banjos and Martin guitars and fiddles and everything like this this is your powerhouse go-to instrument in a chromatic it is it's got big sound and uh, As a chromatic, it plays in five keys, of course. You get F, C, G, D, A on these instruments built in through 21 chord bars uh, with their corresponding minors. Um, and uh, so that's the Desert Rose. Again, it comes with fine tuners, which makes it easy to make those little micro adjustments. You can tune the whole thing in two or three minutes really easily. Okay, so that's the old entry-level model. Here's the new entry-level model. We started putting this one out about three, maybe four years ago. This particular instrument is brand new. It, I just carried it out here yesterday, tuned it up, and it is available now. Um, this is the Tahoma instrument, and uh, it is a little bit shorter because of the way this end is constructed. But it's basically, the chord bars and the fine tuners are exactly the same as the Desert Rose. As a matter of fact, there's the bottom bridge, the fine tuners, I make the fine tuners. Um, and uh, on the Desert Rose and on the Tahoma model, our chord bars are not dressed. This is just uh, anodized black aluminum. Looks nice though. Um, on our high-end models. Um, our flagship uh, is the Cascade, for example, and you'll see that the black cord bar, that's it under there, has this um, veneer on top that matches the walnut all around on the instrument, and that brings up the price because it takes quite a bit of time to do all that extra work. Um, the entry-level models, we wanted to spare you that expense and just give you a really good functional model to play and love and pass on. And so that's what our two entry-level models do. The Tahoma also has that pin block. It's all the way, all the way around, which makes it very tuning stable. Um, but this bottom piece, remember I told you that, that on the um, Desert Rose, that's glued in, and then it has um, uh, all the internal bracing. Um, on the Tahoma, the whole frame is carved out of one piece of pin block. And so what happens is we lay it down on our CNC machine, down like this, it doesn't have any of the stuff on the front yet, it's just a block of pin block, it's square. And uh, the uh, CNC machine is a computer router with a bit, and it goes around and it carves out the entire hollow cavity down to the bottom ply. 
and it leaves the bottom ply, and that becomes the front or the top of the instrument. So now we have this bowl, and the, uh, the bracing that goes on the back of the top is carved out of it too in one piece with everything else. Um, it's just, it's right in there, folks. Uh, and then the back gets glued on, and that's the same marine ply, I think it's called Okumi. Um, uh, Okumi ply, which is glued onto the back. And so uh, the front is actually maple, solid maple, and the back is that Akumi ply, just like on the Desert Rose. Um, and it has the fine tuners, and it has the bridge down here. But up here, it has tuning, it has um, um, bridge pins, like a B model Schmidt which gives it a mellower, more intimate tone. It's not as cutting through, it's not as loud as the Desert Rose. This, I like this for intimate moments. When, when you're sitting by yourself, maybe you're in your rocking chair, and you're practicing and you're playing and you're just enjoying it, now it can get loud, it can get louder than an Oscar Schmidt, considerably, because the box is deeper. But because of the bridges, it has that sweet, mellow tone that some people prefer. it up again and play it so that you can hear it back to back with this one. The Tahoma, because it's machined and we don't spend all that time um, constructing the frame, we can pass that those man hours along to you and it brings the price down by a few hundred bucks. Um, and that's what the goal was with the Des or with the Tahoma model. So this is our new entry level model. It's the least expensive Daigle that we build um, and uh, because it's an American made instrument with a warranty it is um, accordingly priced however um, uh, we stand by our work and uh, pass a warranty that is good uh, for the life of the instrument um, along to you uh, and uh, that is good for the uh, um, original owner of the instrument. So uh, look us up if you're curious about uh, either one of these instruments uh, or any of our other fine models of uh, luthier quality grade auto harps. 
autoharp.com Daigle Auto Harps in SeaTac, Washington. We have 10 different models now. 10? Nine different models now. And uh, soon to be a 10th. I'll just tease it there a little bit and uh, leave you with that. Thanks for listening. Thanks for coming. Oh, I said I was going to play them together, huh? Oh, forgetful me. Okay, so I'm going to play this one first, then I'll play the same tune for you on that one, okay? So let's see. <laughs> Desert Rose to Homa. Which one sounds better? You be the judge, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.